Certainly not how they envisioned ending their opening drive here in the first quarter. Too many ones in this play. First quarter, first drive, first interception thrown. And that last one, that hurts. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And this defense feeling the encouragement. They stop him at the line of scrimmage on the first play of the afternoon. Tackle made by Kenny Vaccaro. Second down throw for Prescott. Wide open, Amari Cooper. 20, 10, touchdown, Cowboys. Amari Cooper, 59 yards. And the Cowboys have taken the early lead. I think if you pulled defensive backs, they would say the corner route, take that out, make it illegal, because that is so hard to recognize and so hard to adjust because your first move is to not get beat in the middle of the field. And that's how they move you first before they break off to the corner. But then as the wide receiver, great job. It's tough to turn those upfield and go, but he did a great job with it there. Really good balance, really good body control. And how about the end result? A touchdown. The extra point splits the uprights, and that makes the score seven nothing. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Titan offense now working their way back onto the field. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate, and of course they'd like to forget the inning, the interception, but they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Eluding the pressure right. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he'd been able to haul that one in. Line of scrimmage, again the 25, second and 10. One, one, one! A second down throw here for Mariota. That's complete to Taylor Taylor. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 23 yards on the play. First down, Mariota. He's going to let this one go deep. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off, Byron Jones. And he will take this across midfield and down to the 48-yard line. Well, they didn't exactly show patience there, did they? Just down a score, they come out firing right away and compound things by throwing an interception. They put their defense in a really tough spot. and taken down. Officially no gain on the play and it's second down. All right, quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers play. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked by Kevin Byard. Looks what? And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he's going to score. It's a Titans touchdown. Those free safeties, they get to sit back there if they've got good pass rushers like this team does. Read like a book. He read it like a book and took it in for six. And if they use their eyes well and their anticipation skills, they can make big plays just as what we saw 
a free safety's dream. Follow the football, go to it, and take it the other way. Jackson now to return. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And following the pick six, and they have decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back in. Yeah, they told him, they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. Tackle made there by Jonathan Cyprian. Second down, Prescott. Got an open man. It's Michael Gallup. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A really good pickup of 28 yards. And just a small glimpse there as to why they like this rookie so much. And that's why they lit up a little bit in our meetings with the coaching staff. Yeah, when we talked about him, they did. Yeah, yeah, you know, they like his work ethic. You know, this guy's running every route well in the route tree and getting better at it all the time, really honing his game. They expect a pretty good jump out of him as things continue to move on. Staying on the ground, this time it's Smith, and he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. But just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. Sitting alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, as it is Cowboy football to begin quarter number two. And they're on the move here. They've got it first and ten. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Hey, we're going right there. We're going right there. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. And he had a nice play there from his free safety position to hold him to nothing. And, Brandon, remember when the free safety was always back away from the line of scrimmage? That's changed. They always <laughs> that changed in a big way. The way we see it now, they're almost mirrors between the free safety and the strong safety. One will be up, one will be back, or sometimes both will be in the same spot. On that play, the free safety was there, no gain. And on third and 15, we see the dime look, six DBs on the field. Playing pass all the way. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Looking for Cooper, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Logan Ryan. And they're going to take over right there at the 22-yard line. Cooper was the target there. Well, it's third and long, and you've got a few different ways to play it offensively. But this is not the type of offense that's going to wave the white flag. They're going to keep chucking it. And this time, it results in an interception. Following the interception here, Mariota throwing the out route incomplete. It's Taylor. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Now a second down throw for Mariota. 
Flush to his right. Ooh, with a juke. He finds an opening past the 40. Mariota had an 87-yard run as a rookie. This one a bit less, but it is a first down. Looks to me, partner, like he's learned a little bit because earlier in the game, I think he was trying to force a lot of throws into his windows that just weren't open. Yeah, the interceptions had plagued him, especially a second interception, really a bad throw. So maybe a better decision there. He had no doubt about it. I think he learned from earlier in the game, and he's applying it now. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. They keep it with Henry on first down. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Not much happening there on first down. I thought there might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? Closed fast. Fighting his way down to about the 35-yard line. Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave him with a third and about five. But we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading the play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. And this is going to be incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. And they're going to go for it here on the fourth down try. Mariota's going to stay out there. From the gun, Mariota. And the Cowboys' pressure gets there this time for the sack. Tyrone Crawford in there to bring him down for a loss of seven. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 42. They start on the ground with Elliott. So he got free of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. And he will find his big tight end over the middle. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. And that goes for a gain of 31. Two minutes to play in a tightly contested first half. Back to Tennessee after this. Again to Elliott. And his rough afternoon continues. He's going nowhere again. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. And Brandon, every running back wants to use their speed in order to get out in front of things. Sometimes you just have to be patient, let blocks develop. On that play, that didn't happen. Prescott now on second down. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Enough takes to start to have a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? No, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And Old Mo is a very, very fickle man. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Two first-half touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys are in for six. Touchdown. 
Extra point right down the middle. And that makes the score 14 to 7. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and ten. From the shotgun, it's Mariota. Stepping up, he'll try and run. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. Titans moving quickly here. They're in the hurry up. Yeah, he only gets a few yards on first and ten, but he's better off doing that than throwing an incompletion or even worse, an interception. Second down, Mariota. Dancing to his left. Uncorks one for Davis. It's caught inside the 25. And he takes this down deep on the Cowboys' side of the field. A big play there just before halftime. And even 50 yards. Working out of the gun, Mariota. And this will be incomplete. The Notre Dame man, Jalen Smith, able to get a hand in and knock it away. This defense has been very disruptive early on as they force another one to go awry. It seems to be the front and the back end. Pass rush, they've been able to get home, and they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync, only way to play good defense. Mariota now on second down. Flushed out right. His pass caught at the four. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. They'll wind up getting seven on the completion, but they'll still be faced now with a third and goal situation. Third and goal. Mariota escaping. And the Titans are in for six. Touchdown. So they just do get the touchdown in before halftime, and now a PAT will tie it. So what we're seeing is one team is going to be really excited right now. How about the other side, though? Will they be deflated, or will they go ahead and gather themselves, regroup at halftime, and come back out because we had an even half? Yeah, we did. We'll see. Should be a good second half, that's for sure. Extra point up and good by Sucka. And we've got a tie game here in a back-and-forth first half. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. Final play of the half. Prescott is going to fire one deep up. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And they've got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. So thanks to the late touchdown, it's a time ball game here heading to break. As we send you to our EA Studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Out come the Cowboys now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. First half showed us some pretty good offense. 
tie game. We'll see what the second half brings. And it'll be interesting because I think both sides feel pretty good about what their offenses are doing. Got to wonder what adjustments are being made defensively to try and get a spark and maybe slow down the other side. But here, do you change up anything on this opening drive? No. And got his man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. He got 29 yards that time. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 46. Tenth carry now for Elliott. Nifty move. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 12 yards there as they move the chains. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They keep on the ground with Elliott. And past the 30, down to about the 27. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. On second down, Elliott. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. The Cowboys on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and four. Prescott from the gun. And this one is incomplete. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion, kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. And forthcoming, a field goal try for the Cowboys. From the right hash, it's a 46-yard attempt. And this one is no good. He missed it. And we will remain tied here in this third quarter. Everything looked good. Good snap, good hold. Sometimes, though, the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it. And this one winds up no good. Mariota and the Titans break the huddle first and 10 at their 36-yard line. They'll try and get the run game going. This is Henry. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. On second down, here's Henry. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Jeff Heath, the one to bring him down. Defense able to get there, swarm to the football. Zilch, zero, not of there for the offense, Charles. Yeah, it really was an example of good team defense, wasn't it? Everyone handled their responsibilities, and they held them to no gain. Mariota, he'll buy some time right. And that is incomplete. Certainly looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. Here's Brett Kern now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. The offense for the Cowboys now working their way back onto the field. And they've got to be a little bit frustrated about that last drive. Missed field goal. 
always hurts a team because, you know, you've put something out there, you've given yourself a chance, you're in range, and the ball doesn't go through the post. But it's not something to panic about, I don't believe. Just keep playing and keep going. Prescott on first down. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll run it now out of the gun. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. Back now in Nashville. All square. 14 apiece to score as we get ready for the... A field goal could get them the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. Here's Prescott. Drops it underneath to Elliott. Three yards is the gain that time. Second and goal. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. of scrimmage the seven now on second and goal he didn't seem in a rush I guess they just didn't know where the play clock was I think you're right about that because there was no hurried movements there right no up tempo at all the clock just ran out I think he was as surprised as maybe his bench was Can't afford another delay here as they come up again on second and goal. After the penalty, it's Alia. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott, a 12-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys have broken. tie out comes the kicking team here for the extra point point after right down the middle and the lead is now 21-14 
The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. And the Titans getting set to go. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. and 10. Here's Mariota. All going deep here for Taylor. So they took a shot on first down but couldn't connect. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. On second down, Mariota again. And his throw is going to be incomplete. The intended receiver, Taewon Taylor. And that takes us from second to third down. This has been a really nice day for the defense. They've made it so difficult to find open receivers because they're able to squeeze the passing lanes down. A lot of what they're doing is communicating. Receivers in one area, receivers in another area. They're almost what they call passing them off from one defender to the next, even in zone defenses, and making it very hard to find an open spot for the quarterback to deliver the ball. And avoids the contact by sliding. First down, Titans gain of 12. We just saw a nice example of why teams often bring in baseball guys to teach quarterbacks how to slide in key situations. You want to protect your franchise guy. Make sure he doesn't get hurt. He did exactly that. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off Byron Jones. And he'll bring this all the way up to the 45-yard line. That had disaster written all over. You've got a right-handed quarterback, a rolling left, and throwing it pretty far downfield. It's really difficult to do, to try and get your body twisted around into the proper position and get anything on the ball as you heave it downfield. And that's what it actually turns into, a heave. And that's not really a good throw, is it? Not good, and we saw the result. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Brandon, you know how many times we've done games, and at the start of the fourth quarter, we see both teams hold up the four fingers, fourth quarter is ours. Well, how about this drive? You saw the four fingers for four-minute offense, and this offensive line is really hunkered down and established himself. Now, this is where they say, put the game on our shoulders, we'll lead the way, right? No doubt about it. And let me tell you, if you're a running back, all you want to do is get behind those big fellas, have a little vision, and find some space. And a solid way to do that on the first play of the drive there. A first down carry for Smith. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Offensively with the lead, you want to run the ball, keep the clock going, but you also want to still kind of be in attack mode too, right? So how do you do that and not come back on your heels? Yeah, think about all the practices we've watched where they have that tempo period to go over things just like this, where they describe the scenario, tell you what they're looking for, and make sure that they're still attacking, yet at the same time not going so fast as to leave too much time on the clock. Touchdown, Cowboys! Ezekiel Elliott, his second touchdown of the afternoon, and the Cowboys will extend their lead. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. But the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Titans offense now, they get ready to do battle again here. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no? You just throw that out the window. 
I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Mariota now to throw on first down. Buying time to his left. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off, Byron Jones. And that gives him now three interceptions in the game. But someone's locked into what they're trying to get done in the passing game. When was the last time we had someone get three in a, in a contest? 2011, wasn't it? Kurt Coleman. Oh, yeah, that's Then right. with the Eagles. That's right. Then against the, with the Eagles, and I believe it's against Washington and Rex Grossman. That's correct. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 43. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Time for a break. We'll come back and see this one out after this. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Running game working, they'll stick with it on first down. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. Call it a gain of four on first and that'll make it second down. All right, just go ahead and say it with me. That was a... A mistake, yes, for sure. Really, without a doubt, because at some point, put your foot in the ground, get upfield, and get down protecting the ball. Don't go out of bounds, because when you go out of bounds, you're really just helping the defense. Yeah, not to be too hyperbolic, but it's like giving the D an extra timeout, isn't it? It certainly is. Gives them a chance to regroup, and it means you have to snap the ball an additional time, which always means the possibility of a mistake. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. The Cowboys on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and six. sets up a first and goal. So Amari Cooper out of Northwestern High School in Miami making a nice play there. And it's so funny that when I was going through the draft process when he came out of Alabama and was inquiring about him and his skills, they say it all began back in Miami. He really became a pro receiver at a young age because of his attention to detail and precision. But don't forget his athletic ability. That's what made that catch there. And he did spend one year with Teddy Bridgewater as his quarterback there, so that helped back in high school. Second and goal from inside the five. They come out here in the eye. 
On the ground with a tight end. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. A lot can go wrong when you call a play like this down in the red zone, but that's where you appreciate this from your head coach. He's not afraid to trust his guys to do the right thing, and as a player, that means an awful lot. Well, they've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? Here's Elliott, and he will take it in for a Cowboy score. Ezekiel Elliott, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys will add on to their lead. Well, I've got to laugh here, and I really don't want to because the old school in me is not happy about this score this late, not necessary. But this is Madden, isn't it? Yeah. This, is how, this is how it works. Rub it in. Have a day. I mean, what, what does it matter? <laughs> These guys who are playing in this game, there are no feelings Exactly. There. They don't have to face the guy. Well, they might if they're in the same room going head to head. But, <laughs> but that's the about virtual it. guys on the screen don't have to face each other after this one. But in that case, run it up. Here's Prescott, and this is going to be caught. So add two more to the lead as they continue to pour it on here in the fourth. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. Mariota now five straight completions here in this second half first and ten Mariota hands to Henry and he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain and we've got a timeout nine seconds remaining well they did throw interceptions on their last two drives so no surprise at all they decided to start it with a running play i'm actually a little bit surprised though that they got as much out of it as they did yeah decent little game puts them in a pretty good spot for second down and the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left but that's all about doing the dirty work right there defensively second and short yardage that's all about plugging those gaps not giving a running back a crease to run through and has a nice job to hold them just a couple and force a third down And that one's not going to get there. Not enough juice. An ambitious effort, but it's well short. And this score will stay right where it is.